hello, welcome, and let's get started. Let's start with a magic circle. There are many different ways to make this. Do which one is most comfortable for you. We will start by putting six single crochet in the magic circle. Pull snug. We will then do a slip stitch to join in the top of the first single crochet. Your first round will have six single crochet. We will then do a chain one and starting in the first stitch, we will do two single crochet in each stitch. To finish this round, we will not go into the slip stitch from below or the chain one. We will put it into the top of the first single crochet from the round below. Round two will equal 12 single crochet. Again, we will start with the chain one and going into the first stitch. This time we will do one single crochet in the first stitch followed by two single crochets in the next, and then we will repeat this all the way around. So one single crochet in the first, and two in the next. One, and two. I will fast forward a few times during the video, just pause to catch up. Again, we will slip stitch to join in the top of the first single crochet from the round below, and round three will equal 18 single crochet. Chain one and start in the first stitch. For this round, we will do one single crochet, another single crochet, and two single crochet in the next. We can then repeat this all the way around. One single crochet, another single crochet, and two single crochet. Slip stitch to join. Round four will equal 24 single crochet. Starting with the chain one, for this round, we will go into the back loop only of each stitch. So into the back loop, we will do one single crochet in every stitch all the way around. Slip stitch to join, again, into the top of the first single crochet from the round below. So round five will equal 24 single crochet. Chain one and start in the same stitch. 
For this round, we will put one single crochet in each stitch. So 24 single crochet around. Slip stitch to join. Round six will equal 24 single crochet. For round seven, we will do the same as round six. One single crochet in each stitch. Slip stitch to join, and round seven will equal 24 single crochet. For our next round, we will do an increase. Starting with the chain one, we're gonna put two single crochet in the first stitch, and then five single crochet, one in each of the next five stitches. We can then repeat this. So two single crochet, and then five, one in each. Two, three, four, and five. Slip stitch to join, and round eight, we will have 28 single crochet. Chain one. Put one single crochet in every stitch all the way around for the next round. Slip stitch to join, and round nine will equal 28 single crochet. We will do another increase round. Start with the chain one, and this time we will do six single crochet, followed by two single crochet in the next stitch, and then we're going to repeat this. So that's two, three, four, five, six, and then we will put two, and then repeat. Slip stitch to join, and round 10 will equal 32 single crochet. For our next round, we will start with the chain one and put one single crochet in every stitch all the way around. Join this round, and round 11 will equal 32 single crochet. We will now do another increase round. Starting with the chain one, we will put four single crochet, one in each of the next four stitches. That's four, and then we're gonna put two single crochet in one stitch. We're gonna follow this by seven single crochet. Our pattern then will be two single crochet in the next, followed by seven single crochet, of which we'll do that three times. And on the very last time, we will put two single crochet in one, 
followed by three single crochet to finish the round. Pause and just follow the written pattern above. Join your round. Round 12 will equal then 36 single crochet. You can now see the nice shape of the pot. For rounds 13 to 17, we will just be putting one single crochet in each stitch. So there will be 36 single crochet in each round. Pause the video and I will meet you at the end of round 17. Do a chain one and then a half turn. Starting in the first stitch, we will do single crochet in the back loop only. 36 single crochet all the way around. Slip stitch to join. Round 18 will equal 36 single crochet. For rounds 19 and 20, put 36 single crochet, one in each stitch, all the way around. At the end of the round 20, cut the yarn and close with an invisible stitch. So cut your yarn and pull through. We will then grab our darning needle to finish the close. Insert your needle into the top of the first single crochet. Then put it down the back side of the last single crochet that you made. You have just created your invisible stitch. You can now weave in your ends and cut the yarn. The finished size of the pot is about three inches or seven and a half centimeters in height and diameter. And the bottom section is about one and three quarter inches or 4.5 centimeters. Your pot will vary depending on the size of hook, type of yarn, and your tension. All of this is just a guide. We can now start with the soil. Use any color of yarn from beige, brown, or black. Let's start again with the magic circle. This first four rows will be exactly the same way that we started the pot. So if you remember how to do it, just fast forward to the next section. So do your first four rows the same, starting with six single crochet in the circle.
pull snug. Slip stitch to join in the top of the first single crochet. So your round one will equal six single crochet. Starting with the chain one and going into the same stitch, two single crochet in each stitch. Join this round. Round two will be 12 single crochet. Chain one. In this round will be one single crochet and then two single crochet in the next and then repeat. Join your round and round three will be 18 single crochet. Starting with the chain one, your next round will start with one single crochet and then another single crochet and then two single crochet in the next. Repeat. Join the round. Round four will equal 24 single crochet. At this point, it's going to change, so we will just do another increase. So for the next row, we will chain one, we will do three single crochet. So one, two, and three, all in an individual, and then two single crochet in the next stitch. Repeat this pattern. Join the round. Round five will equal 30 single crochet. We will do one more round with an increase. Starting with a chain one, we will do four single crochet, one in each of the next four stitches, and then two single crochet in the next, and we will repeat that pattern. Join the round. Round six will equal 36 single crochet. We will now cut our yarn. Leave about a 15 inch or longer tail so we can use that to attach to the pot. Weave in your beginning yarn. With your darning needle, we will attach the soil to the top of the pot. Go about one row down and just find one of the stitches that you're comfortable with and use that all the way around. Thank you for watching and make sure you watch the video until the very end so I can show you how to stuff your pot and finish it off. Enjoy!